Hello and welcome, my name is Paul Melrose and this is the first of a series of very short videos showing you how to manage and organize your Google+. During these videos I'll be using two accounts, my main account and I'm also going to set up an account today and show you how that actually happens. Okay, so let's get started. Now to have a Google Plus account you need either a Google account or you need a Gmail account. If you have either of those and you've signed in, all you need to do is go over to the left hand side to the plus you, click on that button and we'll walk you through the process. Now we're going to do that in a moment but first I'm going to show you how you first create a Google account or a Gmail account. Now if you want Gmail all you have to do is go to the Gmail on the grey bar click on it and you'll be brought to this page. You can sign in using Gmail here but if you don't have a Gmail account you simply click up here create an account. If you don't want to use Gmail because you already have an email that you're using as your main mail and, and are happy with that then you can have what's called a Google account. Now a Google account allows you to access all Google services except Gmail and the way you create that is go over to the right hand side click on sign in and at the top in blue you will see sign up for a new Google account. Now I'm going to sign in to my account here and I'll pause the video and come back when I've done that. So I've signed into my Gmail account and if we look up here on the right hand side you'll see the email address is there and now I'm going to create a Google Plus account using this particular Gmail address. I go over here on the left hand side to you I click on it and I begin the process. Now the first thing you'll notice is I'm using the name here that I used to create this Gmail account and on the plume. Obviously this is not my real name and this is an important point. This video is being recorded at the end of November 2011 and at the moment Google insists that when you create a G Plus account you use your real name. Many people are unhappy with this and in the future Google has said they will allow pseudonyms but at the moment, if you are creating an account, you need to use your real name. And if Google finds out you're not, they will close your account. I'm going to continue using this fake name because as soon as I finish making these videos, I'm going to delete this account. So select my gender. I want to add a photograph. Now, one of the nice things about Google is you can simply drag and drop your photographs in and they will upload for you, uh, which is a nice little feature. I can resize. Another nice little thing that Google have is something called Creative Kit um, and I'll show you how that works later in a separate video on managing photographs in Google+. I'm happy with my photograph. I set it as a profile and there we go. Now I'm going to click join. Give it a moment. Now Google will want you to connect to people you already have in contact lists and database and you have an option of pulling in your addresses from Yahoo or Hotmail and the reason is many of these people might already have G Plus accounts and this is a quick way of finding them. I'm going to skip this step. I'm going to continue anyway. Another step you can take is you can start searching for people right away but I'm not going to cover this because finding people and adding people to what are called circles is something I'm going to cover in the third video. I'm going to continue. Now Google is going to give you options of people to follow and I'll quickly show you how this works. Let's say I want to follow the Dalai Lama. There's a little button here and it says add circles and as soon as I put my mouse over it I get my default circles, friends, family, acquaintances following. I'm going to make a new circle. Click on new circle and I'm going to call it religious. I'm going to click create and I'll get a little drop down menu explaining exactly what that means and what the sharing um, options are on this. Happy with that. And this is the first person I'm going to be following. I'm going to leave it at that at the moment, but there's a whole uh, range of people here they will suggest. I'm going to click continue. Continue anyway. Now Google will want you to put in some details about yourself and the reason they want you to give details is not for their benefit, it really is for your benefit. Because if you want to become active on Google+, most of the people you'll be dealing with will be people who don't know you. So giving some kind of biographical information is useful, they can make decisions about whether or not they want to engage with you. I am going to put my school down here. 
Um, I'm not going to put my employer, but I will put down where I live. And I'll click finish. And that's it. I have now set up my Google Plus account and I can see that in my homepage, my stream, I'm already getting pages or posts from the Dalai Lama. And these are posts which he's made public so anybody who has circled him or following him can read these. I'll talk about posts in detail in a later video, how to make them, how to respond to them and how to edit them. The last thing I want to do in this video is go into settings. So over on the right hand side, there's a little cog symbol. I click on this again and I go into Google Plus settings. The first settings you'll go to is main Google Plus and if I go down you'll see a list of notification options and all of these are ticked for email. I'm going to unselect all of these and the reason is I don't want an email for every activity that happens on my account. I'll simply go and check them myself. I don't want update um, occasional updates from Google either. If I want to, I could add a phone number and I could get texted if certain things happen, but I don't want that either. Here we have profile and privacy settings, and this is very self-explanatory. You can go in and manage all your different privacy settings, but I'm going to cover these in more detail when I show you how to create your profile in the next video. Okay, so that's all we have in this particular video. Join me again and I'll show you how to create a profile and how to manage your privacy settings.